bodyweight squat. So our bodyweight squat, we're trying to descend. So the way we're going to do this is our hips are going to come back and our knees are going to come forward. So, think about a rope. Pulls your hips back, brings your knees forward. So when we get set up, we want to get our feet go shoulder width apart. Toes pointing forward or slightly out. We don't have them in. When we come down, set our hips back, push our knees out. We do this maintaining contact with the ground between our big toe, our pinky toe, and our heel. We keep our chest up and we look forward. From here to come up, we stand straight up. What we don't do is we don't tilt forward. Go forward and squeeze our butt like this. That's not going to do anything for your butt. It's not purposeful. What we don't want when we come up is for our knees to cave in. It's called a valgus. We want to make sure our knees stay out as we come up in our squat. One thing we also need to be aware of is our pelvis position. We don't want to be hyperextended when we squat down. So we put unnecessary tension and pressure on our lumbar spine. Additionally, when we come down, we don't want it to tilt underneath. One thing that can happen is called a butt wink. So a butt wink is when we squat down and when the pelvis tilts underneath, we lose tension. That's an issue. We don't want that. A good way to stop that from happening is don't go quite so low. You know, you've heard, you may hear ass to grass and people get down this low with their squats. If you have the mobility and you have the strength, great. If you don't, that's okay. We're just going to take a different approach. What we're going to shoot for, for our goal for range of motion, we want to get our squat to where our hamstrings are parallel with the ground. We're in control and we can ascend. There you have it, our body weight squat is going to be applicable for almost all of our squat patterns.